Oh, well, hello everyone. Um, Professor Manuel Osorio uh, with NTCC Funeral Service Education, and today I am so happy to be a part of the crematory operations class, and in something that I really enjoy, which is projects. Uh, I'm going to speak to you about the Columbarian project that I, with the committee at the Episcopal Church in my hometown, uh, created for our congregation, and that is we saw the need for an increase in the disposition of human remains via cremation, but also an increase in people that have remains at their house stored and in the years coming along have no clue what to do with them. This is something that, of course, you as future funeral directors will find out that it is a common theme throughout. We've cremated grandpa, grandma, and grandpa and grandma are in our houses, and 20 years from now, we don't know what to do with them. So the church got together and we decided to establish a columbarium in our parish. Uh, we've got several phases. Phase one is the initial columbarium inside the church. Phase two is going to be the columbarium outside in the grounds, an uh, in-ground columbarium. And then phase three will be our wall columbarium in our patio area. Uh, parish is big enough, uh, congregation is small, but uh, we are opening this up to several other organizations and just to the public in general. So with that, I will begin the presentation by showing you what uh, our congregation decided. And it all starts in the beginning. Everything starts with a vision. Uh, we did, had a capital campaign for our parish, and it was one of the mission and vision of that capital campaign to have a reverence base. Uh, we researched and we awarded the eternal niche, which won our hearts and also has done a great job in supporting us. Construction started uh, this year, January 18th, and it took about a week to finish. We have outdoor and indoor niches. And that is our church. Um, to the left, you see that is our in-ground niche, phase two. Uh, center is our parish and on the right is we brought urns from the funeral home to test out the niches and we were able to fit those four in the niche. This is the space that our church decided to put our columbarium in and that is our baptistry. These are the niches. Believe it or not, they're ultra, ultra thin polyurethane and very easy to install. They are not heavy as opposed to the traditional columbariums. And that is our finished product. Created a very solemn and reverent space in our congregation. And this is how uh, the niche is installed. This is one of the in ground that we have. Hi, thank you for purchasing the only true in ground niche on the market. Brought to you exclusively by Collar Marion by Design. in 
underground niche on the ground and marked the substance around the niche, leaving an extra two to three inches all over the niche as it shows in the video. Number four, dig the hole. Require items. Shovel. Post holes like the hole and or auger. Gloves. Measure it. We're now ready to start digging. Take the shovel and dig 25 inches deep into the ground for a large single deep in ground niche. 13 inches deep into the ground for a large single deep in ground niche. Or 8 inches deep into the ground for a small single deep in ground niche. With the help of the post hole digger, take out all process of dirt and mold the hole into a cylindrical shape. Recommendations. Wear gloves at all times. Keep a wheelbarrow or a similar container to put the dug up dirt. To keep the area soddled and ready to be transplanted to another spot, you will need the help from an assistant to hold and pull the surface while you dig throughout the outline of mark, as it is shown in the video. Number five, prep the hole and set the dimensions. Required building materials. Quick grind concrete, like quick food practices in concrete pits or similar farms. Sand for leverage, like quickcrete all-purpose sand or similar product. Water, wood, plastic, metal, or similar material sturdy rod. Level, heavy-duty knife or scissors. Small bowl, medium-sized jug, and small plastic cup. Dry cup. First, pour into a bowl enough sand to raise the bottom of the bowl level. About one inch. Use your hands or level to spread the sand evenly. Pound the sand compactly as shown in the video. Use the level to make sure the bottom of the hole is level. Move the sand as needed. Place your feet ground in centered in the hole. Use the level to make sure the niche is level, as shown in the video. Pour the powder concrete mix evenly around the niche in this hole to cover two inches above the anchoring rod. Now, fill the entire space around the niche with water. Fill the niche with water to weight it down and prevent shifting and floating. Gently stir and mix the concrete and water with the rock, making sure the niche is not shifted out of place. Use the level to make sure the niche is still level. Let the concrete set for five hours. Once the concrete is set, fill the entire space around the niche with the same dirt that you dug out. Using a compacting tool or stopping with your feet, Contact the dirt as much as possible. Keep pouring dirt until you reach ground level. Drain the niche using the small pickup, medium-sized jug, and small plastic cup. Lastly, dry the interior of the niche with the drying cup. Recommendations. To keep powder, concrete, and dirt from getting into the niche, you can cover it as shown in the video. Number six, place the urn. You can now place your urn inside the in-ground niche. In the case of the large double deep model, you can start by placing the urns in the bottom chamber and then placing the chamber divider on the lip between the bottom and upper chambers. Once the divider is installed, you can place more urns in the upper chamber. Number seven, place the granite lid. Now is time to cover your in-ground niche. For the large in-ground model, the granite lid weighs about 70 pounds. At least two persons need to lift the lid and place it on top of the niche. The small in-ground model lid weighs about 32 pounds. Make sure you safely lift it and place it on top of the niche. Number eight, place the safety lenses for the premium packages. Require quality materials, quarter inch socket screwdriver handle, Two security bronze nails, two tamper-proof screws, tamper-proof bit. Once 
www.columbariumbydesign.com to learn more about our products and services. Columbarium by Design. Unleash your imagination. So as you can see from their presentation, it's one of the things that really, really encouraged us to go with this company uh, to make our dream a reality for our parish. Uh, part of our faith tradition is that we give proper disposition to our dead and our congregation has truly fulfilled that mission. I encourage you all to visit any parish or any church of whatever denomination that has columbariums, and you can easily find that uh, by Googling them. I am in South Texas in Laredo, and we are proudly can say the first parish in our city to have a columbarium in our town um, that offers congregants a place to inter their cremated remains. We are debuting our, our columbarium after final approval and all the legalities and contracts were approved. Uh, this September to the congregation, and we'll open it up in November to the public. We have yet to have the first interment, um, but we already have four niches sold to our congregation. So I encourage you to visit your own columbariums, whether they be in a church or in a cemetery, and see their designs. There's a lot of different designs. We went with a more traditional, basic, uh, non-see-through design, but there are glass columbariums with designs that you can see through. Uh, there's one in Dallas at one of their major cemeteries. Um, but do that. Uh, part of being a funeral director is finding the fun part of our, of our industry is design. Uh, but to me is the most intriguing thing. Construction, design, and how we can make things better for our communities. I wish you all a great semester and uh, hope you're having fun with crematory operations. And looking forward to seeing you all in my courses. And thank you to Ms. Calhoun for having me uh, guest lecture today on the columbariums and on cremation. Y'all have fun. <laughs>